talk about combining like terms. Combining like terms, okay? When you combine like terms, essentially what you're doing is you are putting together the things that are like terms. You're simplifying the problem. You don't have to solve it all the time, but you can make it look prettier, a little smaller, and a little easier to manage. So you're not looking at something like, I look at this, a normal student looks at this and they think, goo, I don't know how to do that. Well, we can make this a lot more manageable, okay? This is the way I work combining like terms, and I recommend you do too, because it's very organized and it helps me work, uh, work it, okay? So when you're working on the paper, you've got this one. I circle that one, okay? Now what I'm doing is I'm looking for everything that is a like term of this. Everything that has x squared. No. Yes. When I circle it, make sure you include the sign in front of it, okay? A lot of people screw up right there. They'll just circle that and it jacks it up, okay? They'll just like, oh, it's always addition. Well, no, it's not. You talk weird. Any more x squareds? No. We're good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and this, and I'm working a regular problem ignoring these. 2x squared minus 5x squared is negative 3, which do 2 minus 5, which would be negative 3. And then the x squared stays as is. It stays there. And we don't sub delete them or subtract them because of that. And then I mark these out. <laughs> because it's my paper, I can do whatever I want. Next, go to the next one. Positive 4x. I want to look for anything else with an x. No. Yes. Include the sign in front of it. So positive 4x minus what I know is always there, 1. 4 minus 1 is 3. And the x is still with it. And then my only thing left is 8, so I add there. I just combined like terms and simplified this big old mamma jamma and made it a manageable number. Okay? Cool. So that's combining like terms. Hello. Thank you for coming to Tarver Academy. Please subscribe. Maybe 